This is Manzanita, uh, Arctocephalus patula. Okay. Yeah. Say again, Manzanita. Arc yeah, Manzanita, and the co uh, botanical name is Arctocephalus patula. This is a really neat plant, and this is a very typical chaparral plant. You know, um, this has got what they call a sclerophytic leaf. A sclerophytic means it's a very hard leaf. It's got a hard leaf uh, surface, <clears throat> and it's got that sclerophytic leaf to help re uh, reduce moisture loss. Okay, it doesn't transpire as much water. Another interesting thing about uh, manzanita, and there's a few other plants that do the same thing. You see how the, the leaves go out and generally they face this way instead of flat. That's, that's a way that they reduce moisture loss also. Because <clears throat> if they lay flat, they get more of the sun rays, more heat, more, more moisture loss because they'd have to transpire more water. So this way, they get only half the, half the sun this way, and half the sun this way, and they don't, they actually conserve water that way. So this has got a berry. This is kind of interesting too. It's got deciduous bark. Not all plants really have deciduous bark like this. So you can see how it's kind of flaking up. Well, this is, it's losing its bark, just like an oak tree will lose its leaves. This is evergreen, but it will lose its bark and uh, grow new bark. <clears throat> so this, in the, in the early spring, will have pink flowers, little bell-shaped flowers. They're very sticky. The stickiness is a way for the plants, you have to think about plants and how do they survive? And there's all sorts of different adaptations the plants use to survive. And one of the problems with plants is uh, seed dissemination. How do they get seeds to go someplace else so they can keep growing? Well, these uh, flowers are very sticky, you know? And then the fruit after that is a little berry, they're very sticky too. So when an animal walks by them, it sticks to their fur, then they go over there on the other side of the mountain, lay down, and the seed gets rubbed off and they start a new plant there, you know? So <clears throat> that's one of the ways of uh, seed dispersal on this. So it produces the flower, a little bell-shaped pink flower, and then that produces a berry in clusters. And the berries are about this big, and when they're green, you can actually eat them raw. And, they, and they're not, you know, it's, you, the seed isn't hard inside. Manzanita in Spanish means little apple, okay? Manza is apple and ita is small. Is that right? Do you speak Spanish? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, so it means little apple. And when you eat the, the green fruits, they taste like a green apple. And then, but you let them uh, get ripe and they'll turn the same color as the bark, basically. And that's when they're ripe. And the seed, the, it's got a little husk on the outside and that's what you can use. You actually bruise it and you can make a drink out of it. And, uh, and actually, you can do other stuff if you're creative. Um, Marianne has made manzanita berry meringue pie. So she got, because they're very lemony tasting, you know, kind of, the berries are. So she got um, a lot of that, soaked it in water, concentrated it, and then made uh, like a lemon ring pie, except instead of lemon, she used manzanita berries, you know. And it was kind of cool, because it wasn't yellow, it was kind of pink color, you know, the 